If you can make a difference at the very beginning of someone's life, then that has the potential to change their life, you know, 80, 90 years. My name's Joan Allsweller. I'm a neonatal paediatrician, so that's a paediatrician who specialises in newborn babies. My name is Gada. Um, I'm originally from Iran. I moved to New Zealand almost 17 years ago. Uh, I'm a biochemist by training and I work at the University of Auckland as Senior Research Fellow. My name is Zoe Wolfe and I'm a PhD student at the University of Auckland, currently starting my second year of my PhD this year, working on a type of cancer called glioblastoma multiform, which is a type of cancer that affects the brain. Um, unfortunately, it's a very, very aggressive cancer, so when people are diagnosed with this, their average survival time is only around 15 months, which is obviously very, very short. So there's a lot of research going into this type of cancer and how we can prolong patient survival and obviously the ultimate goal is to cure cancer. I trained in um, mechatronics engineering and then went through into my postgrad in medical robotics and really had a big emphasis on the medical side and the clinical side of developing robots and translating them into clinical practice. So a lot of the research that I do looks at blood sugar levels in babies. Uh, we've been doing some research in uh, mother's blood sugar levels when she's pregnant and how that might affect the baby and then the baby's blood sugar levels um, in the first few hours and days after they're born. The overarching theme of my research to figure out new targets, new processes that we could target uh, for new antibiotics. Currently the estimates are that yearly around 700,000 people die as a direct consequence of resistance. So if you look at these numbers it is very shocking and uh, definitely uh, scary and that's hopefully where we come in that uh, if we don't want to get there, we will have to come up with new ideas, new methods and new antibiotics to uh, fight the resistance. There's a lot of research that has been going on in, in the engineering side and what's the really challenging piece is actually translating that engineering research uh, into real world outcomes to actually having an impact on people's lives. AMRF plays a crucial role in that stepping stone of being able to get the initial data that you need to then being able to go to the really big funders uh, to show them that you know what you're doing, you can do this, this is a good idea and they're likely to see good results so that they'll fund you in those extremely competitive and prestigious grants. The AMRF grant uh, came at the early stage of my career and it was really the first um, external grant that I had which uh, allowed me to build my research program, allowed me to grow a team and really gain a track record of translating the engineering into the clinical domain. People who work in uh, medical research in Auckland, AMRF is one of your first places to go for funding. Hopefully I'll be able to continue to get funding and work on this disease to look at developing some sort of treatments or therapies that may target these cells that will give patients a longer outcome and a better quality of life during that time as well. What happens within the antibiotic development happens within academic environment and that's why having funding through uh, funders like uh, AMR is actually crucial just to make sure that the momentum moves forward and we never stop. It covers everything, right from the very basic research at the laptop, right through to clinical trials and implementing research into the community. So it's a huge range of different research um, by a huge number of researchers from lots of different organisations. For me, that's the benefit of AMRF, is its really wide scope. It's just raising that awareness that we really do need this funding to be able to do the research and that if people were just to give a little bit of money, you know, the more and more people that give money and raise awareness for this sort of thing, then the more students that can be funded and the more research that can be done. I think one of the important things that uh, research like this does is it supports our kids in the future. It gives them a better chance to fight disease in general and in our case infectious diseases. So definitely whoever uh, makes a decision to donate to uh, AMRF, I'm sure they would be delighted to know that uh, their money is spent in a very good way.